Are solar panels worth adding? I'm gonna give you a couple things to think about because it just depends, right? What you gotta figure out is the break even time. How long do you have to um, have these on your house and how much energy do you have to save every month and how long is it gonna to take to pay those off, right? That's ultimately, uh, that's ultimately the pitch when the guy comes to your door trying to sell the solar. So that's something you can definitely figure out. A um, couple things to consider. One, insurance. Insurance is a factor. If you're putting thirty or forty thousand dollars additional onto your roof, you've got to make sure these are going to be covered by your insurance. Um, even more than that, you don't want to put them on if you're at the end of your roof's life expectancy, right? So there could be a better time to put them on, maybe when you're putting on a new roof. Um, definitely, you're going to get some credits out of it, but th those can't be the only factors for the decision. Um, the other piece I, I get asked a lot is how does that factor when it comes time for resale? What kind of um, what kind of value add do we get in, our, in terms of our valuation on the house? And I think it's somewhat up for debate. Obviously, one buyer who really wants solar may be willing to pay a little more because they're already on there and because there's going to be some caked in savings. But from my perspective, um, it's not fully integrated into the market where it's, it's this massive selling point to most buyers, at least yet. Um, what we're seeing is appraisers are willing to give it some small percentage of what the value is. So a recent appraisal I was at, the guy asked about our, our solar system, the solar panels on the house, and they were able to give a 30% value on what the sellers had put on just a year prior. So for a $30,000 uh, install, you know, their, their, their added value in terms of appraised value was, was barely, very insignificant. So um, just a handful of things to, to consider. How long are you gonna be in the house? What is the additional insurance requirement? How much life does your roof have in it? So I hope that helps in your decision making.